Oh, hello everybody, welcome back to GTA 4 The Bell of Gaetoni. We're in a Luis Lopez apartment and what I noticed was a pistol, a gun. Laying about on this table. Now I got it. Changed my weapon to this pistol. And, look at that. An LMG in my apartment. Now, that's because I did some live streams and some side missions. Um, the drug war side missions. I wouldn't want to do those in a let's play. That would be boring AF. And, uh, yeah. Because I did 25 side missions, I got these two guns. I thought I would have guns in my apartment when I had done 50 of them. Now, I imagine when I had done 50... I will have several guns in my apartment, but I've got these two, and I'm pretty glad about that. But enough of that. I want to go visit Gay Tony, and I think he's going to call me. Because he tried a couple of times when I tested this game. A couple of times. Oh, I want to shoot this gun, I really do. There we go, there's Tony. Let's see what he wants. Hey, Tom. What's happening, bro? Besides my life falling apart in front of my eyes, not much is happening, bro. Someone told me they saw you driving around with some Russians. What the fuck are they? You've gone over to the dark side? Really? That's funny, man. Your friend must have been mistaken. Okay. Of course. Shit. The stress is really getting to me. Calm shit down, T. And don't take it out on me. I'll be by soon. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I'll be by. Let's see. I'm gonna take a car somewhere. Any cabs? Well, I'm gonna take this cab then. Not as a passenger. I need to borrow this. As a driver. And let's open up the gate on me on our GPS. I got a job interview. Yeah, you hang on the car. No? Okay. That would be fun. If you hang on. They do that. The NPCs. If they drive away and they try to keep their car. Try to hold on for as long as they can. I just like when they do that. I'm keeping my eyes open for another car. A better one. But. This one will do fine to get to Tony anyways. Not enough speed to get that jump. Not enough speed, unfortunately. Yeah. Ah, my revenge. <laughs> For all those caps that uh, got in my way in this game. This boy, they can get in your way. Any nice cars up here? <gasps> Why not? Why not? Hmm. <laughs> Really, this one has an alarm. I think I'm the only guy in the city that wants to steal this crap car. <laughs> okay, could you knock it off with the alarm? Thank you. Yeah, I don't want to drive with the alarm on because that could get cops on your tail. And I don't want them now. Trying to avoid that. Okay. Let's see. Cabs always getting in my way. <laughs> not hitting any cop cars. It's also very important not to get them on your tail. Okay, slow down a bit. Yeah, we're getting there. I'm gonna take Tony with me in this crap car, not in his car. This one. Now in my crap car. If it's still standing here, by the way. Well. Got a nice gun, got an LMG. And we're going to Tony. Ladies' night. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yo, T. Where have you been? I got here as soon as I could, bro. Oh, man. Louise Gracie. Louise Gracie. 
What about Gracie? They got Gracie. She's gone. Evan's dead. Now Gracie. Fuck Evan. Who's got Gracie? I, I don't know. So what are you talking about, bro? Where is she? I, I, some guy's at war with her father, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Gracie's pretty tough. She's a princess. She's a tough princess. Oh, they fucking hurt her. Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. <laughs> you never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite go -kart. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? If it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags in a street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, okay? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, she's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. You know, if you can get past the accent, okay? But she made you into a useless old queen too whacked out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me and think, oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment when the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? You're not so fucking tough, Luis. And you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Fuck. Yeah, fuck you, Luis. Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. Lord, no, you're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. <laughs> Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. You're the closest thing I've had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye. Tony, c c come on, man. Goodbye. I love you. Shit. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, uh. you dumb prick? Huh? Get up. Get up so I can kill you myself! Get up! Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, sh I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh. Come on. Get up. Uh. Get up, you old bastard. Oh. Huh? Let's, go, let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, Luis. The Ancelotti said I should use their chopper. It's at the heliport on top of the entrance of the booth tunnel. Yeah, I know where it is. I'm gonna take this car. <laughs> we're driving in style. What are we gonna do with a chopper? What do you think we're doing on this Audi? We're looking for Gracie. You got any ideas where we might start doing that? It's a big city, though. I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, T. You're just over dramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough with all the shit we've been in to take the safety off a gun before you use it? Fair point. I'll get a post-it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, you mean. Okay. I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl? Then? There's some lowlifes and dupes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dupes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay, so we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got Gracie? We've just got to follow them. See if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper crazy. I wouldn't wish that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Grace has got my back here over some chump hook with dudes. You're right, that could be the smart pet. Not again! Not again! Who's the cops in a tunnel? Yeah, great. Yeah, I have to wait to get to the chopper. Lose the cops first. So... Just driving around a little bit. Should be fine now. Our old man said something interesting go. to me, by the way. Oh yeah? what do he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. Either we get her back, or we're dead. That's definitely interesting. How the fuck did he get that in his head? I barely know the girl. It's the diamonds, Lou. Rocco's had a word with him. Motherfucking Guido here, Joe Cabron. Shit, I just got forward a photo of Gracie from the kidnappers. The girl does not look good. Hey, who knows? Bound and gag might be the look for Guido's lust next season. Here's the Ancelotti chopper. Let's not screw it up as well. Oh, we're not. Jeez, that Tony's a mess. The opening scene. 
All right, there we go. The place we're checking out is over in Cerveza Heights. Okay. Suspected kidnappers near the Meadows Park. So, this isn't about Gracie? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get up? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh wait, we tried that, and it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. Oh yeah, I've already been picked off once, T. And I nearly got killed because of it. I'm serious, Lou. Most of the girls in the city have fallen in love with you at least once. How come you can't manage to find a rich one? Because I ain't like that. I wish I had your principles, genius. I think that's the place we're looking for. Okay. Oh, that's a nice red sports car. You have to follow it or what? To follow it will be easy. Easy that to red spot. Car is leaving. Follow it. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Where is he going? I don't know where he's going, you idiot. That's why we're There's a lot of shit west of Dukes. Could be Algonquin. Could head all the way over to Alden. He might not be going west at all. Might be heading over to the East Borough Bridge, so he can get himself up to Bohan. Fuck! Might just be heading down the block for a slice of pie. Shit! Okay, okay, I take your point. If you see him stopping, let me know. You'll see him stopping too, bro. You ain't going to sleep on me, are you? You think I could go to sleep in a moment like this? Why? You ain't got your pills? No, I don't actually. I didn't even take an anti-anxiety, and you know how I feel about flying. You'll throw a guy out of chopper, but you won't go for a riding one? You should have shared your anti-anxiety pills with the celebrinator. No amount of pills would prepare you for that. Don't fuck with the Thorny Prince Empire, baby. That's what's up. Public relations at its finest. If we could throw every fucking blogger out of chopper, bro, keep them fools in line. We could start an outsourcing company. We'd be rich overnight. Strangely enough, that's exactly what we need to be. Stop driving suspiciously, Lou. He'll get wise to us. Get wise? What are we, in some gumshoe novel now? I'm driving as unsuspiciously as you can when your boss only forked out for a weekend helicopter course. If he's getting wise, it's because you're a tight ass. You being anti-Semitic now? Nice. Next you'll call me a fan. Oh yeah, play the minority card. Very clever. Unfortunately, I'm a minority too, so fuck you. <laughs> I love that conversations between these two. What's he going back to the park for? He on to us? He's just going for a drive, T. Come on, you dumb dukes, fuck! Take us to her! You got loud enough, he might just hear you. Maybe if we concentrate hard enough, we can will him to go there. I thought you got over that spiritual shit when you stopped dating the yoga instructor. There are things that stick with you forever. Like the fact that he could get his ankles around his ears and he ate a lot of bunk beans. That image is gonna stick with me. Jesus. Where are these guys from? Other than dukes, I mean. They're an Irish operation headed by this maniac called Gerald McCreary. He's doing time in Alderney State. Irish like those guys who robbed our bank? They could be the same ones that held me hostage. Stranger things have happened. What would they need a mob boss's daughter for when they got all the bank's money? How the fuck do I know? I guess greed is a powerful motivator. I got an idea. Great. What is it? We stop that first car, we rig his balls to the battery. By the time he smells them cooking, we'll know exactly where Gracie's at. This is a great bit of improvisation, Lou. But I think we should just follow him. Leave the torch to professionals, people in government. He's going into the tunnel. We're fucked. He's only got two exits, T. He should come right out over by where we picked up the chopper. Or he could hijack some other car, and we'll be sitting here waiting for him with our dicks in our hands. Hey, my dick's in my pants, not my hand, T. And he's staying there. Let's just wait to see if he comes out. Okay, this should be the other end of the tunnel. Didn't see him, but they saw him. I see him! There he's he crossed over to Alderney! He's coming out of the booth right now! You know how they got Gracie? Something to do with that pink piece of shit car she had. They think <laughs> the guy pretended he wanted to buy it. She should have got suspicious the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. 
Actually, wait. I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me Gay Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit, you cliche-loving moron. There was that one marble thing you bought. That was art. Yeah, giant, veiny, penis-shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. A giant, veiny, marble penis. Alright. <laughs> He's going in the parking lot. What's going on? I don't know. Shit. She could be in the trunk of a car in there. She could be in the trunk of the red piece of shit we're following. They would have checked that. Let's see if she comes out. I must come on. Look, he's there. there Just lead us back to Gracie, you fucker. Where are you going? Well, this is location where Nico Bellic took Gracie, so. Look, he stopped. That must be where they're keeping Gracie. It's somewhere, at least. What street is that? I don't know all the name well, bro, but I think the big one's Sacramento. Call it in. Let's head back to the helipad. Oh, okay. That's it? <laughs> you gonna Who's call it? I'm screaming. texting. Look at you, bro. What? Down with the kids. You work in the business, Lou. You should know that club promoters are the first to master all new forms of communication. Always find a new way of profiting. If we pull this off, we'll profit. We'll get to keep our spinal cords. Great. I like my spinal cord, bro. It would be a fucking shame to lose it. Okay, let's land this bird down slowly and nicely. Like we know what we're doing. Okay, man. Let me know if they find Gracie. I hope for our sake they do. See you soon, partner. Okay, where we got? Oh, okay. That's not bad. So, what's with the time? How could you do any faster? Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think it did pretty well with flying the chopper for once. It's not the easiest one, uh, this game, to fly choppers. And uh, yeah, I recognize that place from uh, the GTA 4 Let's Play. That's where uh, Nico Bellic took crazy and he kidnapped her. <laughs> it was a fun mission. It's a feisty girl, that Gracie. She almost uh, got me to uh, drive over off, even off the bridge. Unknown car. Who could that be? Let's find out. Hello. Hola, burrito. Rocco, how'd you get my fucking number? I don't want to talk to you. Too bad, Mex. This line opened up just as soon as Tony took those points. You know, Rock, your guinea ass is lower down this country's ethnic food chain. Than mine, so don't fucking condescend me. Oh, I got Senora Sensitive here. Hey, look, I respect you, so I'm gonna talk straight a second. Tony's pissed a lot of people off. You need to control him. Tony's gonna calm down as soon as you stop sending us on suicide missions. Oh, look at my position. Some serious moolah yos. You think the higher powers are gonna stop expecting envelopes from me because of the homo's midlife crisis? Doctor's notes don't cut it with these people. Be reasonable then, Rock. Chinatown? Bahama Mamas? Those fucking bombs? That's some out of control shit, man. No! Tony's some out of control shit. Think about what he has got you into. But if you think about it too long, then there might be no getting out of it. Comprende? Not really, bro. Goodbye. Yeah, me no comprende either. What, what, what's he talking about? <laughs> Anyways. I'm gonna leave it here. This, I guess this is the mission and I will have a follow-up of course. And uh, I guess they're gonna free Gracie from the kidnappers. At some point in time. We'll see. But for now, I'm gonna leave it here. I wanna thank you guys for watching. 
and we see each other in the next one. You all have a good one. See you later. Bye.